Hi everyone, so we are back with another video in our NEET code 150 DSA question series. So today's problem is Ministech, I would say a good problem, right? So we'll be solving this problem today again if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you and you can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself, right? So let's get started with the problem statement now. So the problem says design a stack that supports push, pop, top and retrieving the minimum element in constant time. So we have to implement the ministack class which is which is given to us. So it contains ministack which initializes the stack object void push. So it like a value would be provided to you. You have to push the element well onto the stack. Void pop remove the element on the top of the stack then top so it will help to get the top element of the stack and int get min retrieves the minimum element in the stack it also means it will return or it will provide the minimum element in the stack right so uh, don't get confused we don't have to remove the minimum elements of the stack we just have to get or retrieve the minimum element in the stack you must implement a solution with big o of one time complexity for each function for example here if you will see so min stack has been given to us now push so minus two we are pushing to on the top uh, on the stack then push so zero we are pushing then three so three we are pushing now the function called is get min so what are the elements we pushed minus two zero minus three so out of these three which is the minimum one you will see minus three right so you can see we got minus three then pop so the last element which we inserted or we provided to the stack was minus three so minus three will be popped out because we are performing pop operation then top so now right now what is the element at the top because minus three has been removed so obviously zero will be at the top then again we are calling get min so out of so right now two elements in the stack minus two and zero so out of them which is the minimum one minus two right so that should be returned here they have explained the same constraints has been provided right so now so now we'll be discussing that how we can solve this particular problem there are uh, different different approaches and ways to solve this particular problem right so let's understand about them okay so first approach or like i would say the first thought that can come to your mind what we can do is that that we can take two stacks right one stack would be responsible for managing the minimum element right minimum element and the second stack will be you know normally containing the elements in the given order or like that so okay we have our two stacks right so let's call it st let's call it min st right so first is we are pushing minus two so minus two so see as of now both the stacks are empty right so we don't have anything to compare with or anything like that so when both are empty so in both the stack we are going to push the element minus two then we are seeing zero so we will uh in the in our original stack obviously we are going to push zero now here in this stack this is completely responsible for man managing the minimum element right so here we will check if the element which is at the top of the stack if it is if it is if it is what if it is uh greater than that of the element which we have seen now so zero and zero and minus two obviously minus two is a smaller one right so we are not going to do anything right then uh next we are next we do have push minus three minus three we are going to provide here now minus three is uh lesser than that of the element which we do have in our min stack the element which is the top of the min stack so we are going to put this minus three uh in our minus stack as well right next we have pop so comes now comes the pop operation so see if the element that we have to remove which is the element minus three so this is you know the element which we have to remove is the same element which is at the top of the stack top of the minus stack so what will be the element which would be at the top of the minus stack obviously the minimum element till now that we have seen right so we have to remove that as well because now this element is no longer a part of the stack we are removing it so if that is the case then we have to remove from here and from min stack as well right now top so we will return the element which is at the top of the original stack so zero then get min 
so get mean we are again calling so this stack is completely responsible for you know returning the minimum one get mean like before also were called so at that time minus three was returned then we did a pop so as if uh the element that was at the top was equal to that of the minimum element that we do have in the minus stack right so we removed this minimum from both the stack minus three minus three then top we used our original stack only to return the top element then for get min so right now in the minimum stack what is the element at the top minus two so minus two would be returned right so i hope you were able to understand that how basically these two stacks are you know doing their part and this stack is completely responsible for managing the minimum element right now talking about this approach so here you would see that we are taking extra space right we are managing uh, another stack right but the question is clearly specifying that if we can do in this and if we can achieve this in bigger of one um, space complexity as well right uh, i guess that was also the case a big of one space complexity time complexity right so uh, can we do something better than this well yes what we can do is that instead of managing two stacks instead of managing right now we are managing two stacks right and this stack is just completely responsible for managing the minimum element right so what we can do is that uh, like in java you can c++ we do have a pair right you can use that in java we don't have any such thing so what uh, what we'll do like we will we can take a class let's call it as pair and it would be containing two elements let let's call them key and value right so this value would be responsible for handling the minimum element like this k will be having the actual value whatever is there like as in this stack right we were managing the actual original sequence and the second stack was responsible for managing the minimum element it's the same thing we are going to do here right so we will take a stack of type pair right we will take a stack of type pair now what we're going to do is that let me let me because here here there is so much hodgepodge and i have already received feedback that my writing is you know such a hodgepodge i i agree i agree on that part so let me write here okay so as i said we will have a stack of type pair st so now what we're going to do see when our stack is empty so obviously when the first element you will see your stack would be empty so we are going to put the elements as it is in the stack so like k is following the actual sequence and v is the minimum element v is for managing the minimum element right so as of now uh, we are going to put in both k and v whatever value you have see in push we will provide na int x right so we are going to push pair s pair s x comma x right we are going to put this in our stack so minus 2 comma minus 2 will be pushed then next next we are seeing zero next we are seeing zero now Okay, minus two, minus two. Sorry, right? And um, right. So whatever. Now we have to, you know, we have to keep track of the things, right? We have to keep track of the minimum element. So right now, uh, right now, what do we have? Zero. So this time we will do the comparison. So the second value of the pair that is already in our stack is minus two, and right now we are seeing zero. So which is the minimum one? Obviously, the previous one is the minimum one, right? So we will uh, use that particular value. right or we will update only if we are seeing a value which is lesser than that of our current minimum current minimum or the second value which we were already having so here we will put zero again minus 2 only because that is the minimum one then next we are doing again push operation and here we do have minus 3 right so this time you would see that minus 3 is smaller than that of the minimum value that we are managing right so we will put we will put Minus three, comma minus three, right? Now they are saying get min. So what we will return the second, obviously from our pair, the second value we are going to return that is minus three is going to be returned. Then we are doing the pop operation. So this complete entry would be removed. Then the top they are asking. So what we will return the first because this is managing the actual order. So this zero would be returned. Then again they are uh, they are asking for get min. So 
the second value the v is responsible for providing the minimum value right so we are going to return this v from the pair that is minus 2 would be returned right so this is the next approach that we can use for solving this problem so i'm going to show you the code of this particular approach only for for this problem and the first approach that we discussed managing two stacks one is completely responsible for managing the minimum element you can do the implementation by yourself once you have you know if you understood the approach you can implement by yourself right so let's have a look on the code part now so here we do have our stack of type pair so this is the pair class i have defined this is the pair class containing key and value right and we are just returning key value things right you must be knowing about it okay so let me show you more clearly like see the constructor and the uh, getters uh, we have defined here now what we are doing is that we have initialized our stack now the push operation so first thing is that our stack is empty so obviously we are going to put the same x value for both k and v right otherwise what we are going to do so the whatever the element is there at the top of the stack in the in the v part v part is uh, value part is responsible for keeping track track of the minimum element right so here we will check if x value is lesser than that of the m so we will update the m as x and we are going to put this in our stack if not if this is not the case then the previous value itself the minimum value we were managing that would be in our stack right okay okay so now what do, what do we have in the pop operation we are simply going to remove that particular kv entry from our stack and for top as if our key uh, key uh, attribute is managing the actual order so we are returning stk dot p dot get key and the value attribute is responsible for managing the minimum value right so we are returning for get min stk dot peak dot get value right so you see i am speaking slowly because i have got multiple comments that i speak too fast right so yeah this was the approach that we discussed well i was also exploring other possible solutions so here is this one solution that i really liked but yeah i have seen that uh, someone proposed a similar solution and interviewer didn't like it so but yeah i mean it is a, it is a good solution right so uh, you can have a look on this solution as well like from here you will go to solution part and see here whomsoever has implemented it so instead of using a stack what this guy has done he has used a node so this is how he has defined a node node is a class containing well minimum attribute and the next so a kind of linked list itself been created right and here you can see if head is null so he for uh, well and min he has pushed x only right and this is the first entry so obviously in the next there would be null then if it is if one entry is already there then what we are doing is that x value which is the original sequence getting followed and whatever is the minimum the x value that we have got in the push or the head dot min values whatever is minimum keep that in the minimum part in the minimum attribute and obviously the next is so the current entry next would be the head which you have seen previously so like that nodes would be created right so here in the pop what we are returning head dot next and uh, head dot well we are returning from the top for min we are returning head dot min so you can just have a look on that approach as well it's very good to see other approaches other possible approaches for solving a particular problem well that's it from my side thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye